all been asking for a special video on Truman. And everybody loves Truman. So let's do it on this week's episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back everyone. Before we start this week's episode, just a reminder to if you haven't subscribed to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click the little bell right beside of it so you get notified each time we put up a new video. Also for real time updates, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, all at Travels with Delaney. And finally, if you enjoy the content on our channel and you want to support us for free, you can visit our Amazon shop at amazon.com backslash shop backslash travels with Delaney. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps us to continue to provide you great content. All right, on to this week's episode. So everybody, Patty, has commented that uh, they want more Truman. Truman. Yes. And who wouldn't want more of this <laughs> little guy? So just, we thought we would take this week's episode to officially introduce him to the channel, even though he's been with us since way back in June. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but we've never really done a whole video just on Truman. No. For those of you that are maybe new to our channel and you're wondering why it's called Travels with Delaney when we have this gorgeous little guy, the reason is we had an American Cocker Spaniel and her name was Delaney. Right. And unfortunately, we lost her earlier this year, back in January, to cancer. She was 12 years old, and so the, the name of the channel will always stay Travels with Delaney, partially as a tribute to her, and because, honestly, Delaney will always travel with us in our hearts. Exactly. But we were blessed with this little guy back in early June. Yeah, friends of ours from um, our lake place nearby on uh, Barton Lake have uh, his brother and sister that are a year and a half. And we were visiting, and they're like, you guys want a new puppy? And we're like, well, we don't know yet. And they're like, well, should we check with the breeder? We're like, sure. And the next day, you get a text, and there's a picture of this little face. Yep. Saying, what do you think? And I'm like, oh, this is a no-brainer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we ended up uh, actually getting Truman uh, about a week later. Mm -hmm. He wasn't even quite eight years old, or eight weeks old. Right. Um, he was just a few days shy. He was 4.2 pounds uh, when we uh, got him. Got him mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, just a little background on Truman. He was actually born in Toledo, Ohio, yeah. and his dad's name is Sir Rough and Ready Rudy. Is that your dad? <laughs> and his mom's name is Little Miss Cover Girl. Girl. And he was actually born on April 10th of this year. And um, he is what is known as the black and tan mix. Right, you can get uh, ruby red. Ruby red is this kind of red color all over. Yep. Uh, the black and or white and red, and then the tricolor, black, white, and tan. Yep. yep. So those are the four colors that Cavaliers come in now. You know, according to the AKC website, Truman should end up somewhere between 18 and 20 pounds mm -hmm. when he's fully grown. Obviously, some Cavaliers tend to be just a touch bigger, bigger and some are a little smaller, yeah. absolutely. His, uh, for instance, his brother, Harry, Harry. <laughs> is uh, a little bit over yeah. the 20 pound mark. And then his sister, Charlotte's actually under the 20 pound mark. So right. we think Truman is either gonna be right at that 18 to 20 pound mark or possibly a little under. Yeah, he's uh, just so skinny. Yeah. He's just gotten long and skinny. So So we uh, we had him for about a week and a half when we took off on our trip. And so if you again been following our channel, you know that originally we were supposed to go to Canada, but we were unable to go to Canada this summer because he was too little for his rabies shot, wasn't that right? That is correct. Mm -hmm. And um, so we diverted, but the key is he is an excellent traveler and I think don't you think by traveling with him at such a young age we've kind of broken him right, in. Right, exactly. Because with traveling, he had to learn how to do the potty breaks, and it seemed like every two hours, he yep. got a little wiggly, and that was kind of a sign to us that we need to stop, and we all need to stop too, so we, he was able to do that. And then on our way home then, a couple weeks later, he was able to go a little longer. Right. So that was uh, showing us that he was learning how to travel. He also learned how to do leash. Uh, we did a lot of leash work with him at that at that age because we just didn't want to lose him right and uh, so he learned how to do a leash and now he's and, pretty good at a leash yeah and I think you know by being in campground store we would take him out and and even though he wasn't great on the leash mm -hmm. early on mm -hmm. I think because we have done so much and he's still got a ways to go but he's so far advanced on a leash compared to Delaney at the right. same age and we got Delaney in the middle of the winter so it was really hard to get mm -hmm. her outside on a leash where with him he's been on it all summer exactly. and um, so I think that's been a real plus the other thing I think that's going to be a huge plus down the road is he has been exposed to so many different people 
yep. um, animals Animal. and places right. that, I mean, he absolutely just, I don't think there's been a person or a dog that he hasn't wanted <laughs> right. to love on. Exactly. Now, Cavaliers are known as the love sponge of the yeah. dog world, yeah. so that's already a, a trait for him. But I do think by exposing him to all these um, different people uh -huh. has been huge. Right, and he just, like for example, when we went to the beach in Oregon, in Washington, he just loved the beach. And he his, his excitement to see the sand and play in the sand, and he wanted to eat the shells. And he, oh, yeah, and chasing, <laughs> uh, like when there was dry sand uh -huh. and the wind to kick up, he was trying to chase uh -huh. the sand that was blowing. And it's just weird, too, we were talking the other day because he'll hear an airplane, and we never really said, hey, Truman, look up for an airplane, and he looks up. Yeah, he'll actually hear things uh -huh. and look up. Yeah. And, and so he's a very inquisitive young fella. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, he's, you know, and he's got friends. And the nice thing is Truman already has friends all <laughs> over the United States and Canada and probably the world for yes, that matter. Yeah, lots of friends. But um, one of our friends that we met this summer was uh, Jeff and Shelley. Yeah. And Truman just immediately took a liking to them. Mm -hmm. Um, as he has with so many, whether it's Ann or Stacy or Kathy or Jan, and Anybody. I could, we could just run off this whole list of Anybody. names of, of friends of yeah. ours and subscribers of ours that uh, Truman just instantly falls in love with. But yeah. I do think that's going to be huge going forward. Um, that development right. of him being around people and dogs and, and just yeah. going different places. So exactly. honestly, since we've been home, he's almost kind of like, why do we, why do we stay in this big, <laughs> this big building? Um, and that's the other thing. He immediately was used to our travel trailer. Yeah. And um, again, if anything, I think when we first got home, he was kind of lost on what to do because the house is so big right. compared to. Right, and we wanted to crate train him. Um, we call it his, his office. And uh, he's just done really well with that. And with going back to school here the last week or so, uh, we were kind of concerned. But he just runs right in there. He even plays in there, lays in there. But he'll just go right in when it's time to go. Yeah. And he's done I think really that well. was one of my biggest concerns because mm -hmm. we had tried it for about a week and a half before we left, and he, and he was doing okay. But then we were gone for a, a month plus, mm -hmm. and so we didn't really get to use the the crate. And I am so amazed. All I have to say is Truman. You know, we need to we need to leave Ooh, for a while, wow. and I take a treat and walk over by, and he runs right in. We don't have to force him in. We don't even really have to coax him, mm -hmm. and he just runs in and turns around, and I give him his treat. I close right. the door, and then I give him another one, and, um, and we have not had a and I knock on wood, wood yeah. some, <laughs> somewhere. It's a log cabin. There's got to be wood around here. Um, but he has not made a single mess in his crate. Now, we started off by doing just short, like, when we first got you know, a couple hours, hours at here. a time. Yep. Um, and then we eventually got him up to the longest was when my sister was in the hospital five one, hours, five hours. Mm -hmm. and then um, and then this week unfortunately he's had a couple, couple long, a little bit longer days yeah. um, when we can get a family member like my dad and Marilyn to come or over my mom, yeah. Yeah, or your mom and dad to come over yeah. and let him out we, we prefer to do that we don't like leaving him that long but what's great is uh, he does just fine um, yeah, he's not crying or whipping no. when we come in, and we know that if he is, we we learned that we just need to leave him in there. Yeah, but he and hasn't. Mm -mm. No, I mean not that, since he was itty bitty. Not since he was itty bitty. I mean, we come home. Um, he usually hears us, so he's waking up, but yep. you know he's been sleeping because Still you stretch. get him out, he's like stretching and yawning, just like a human would when they yeah. get up from. Yeah. So actually, we're really happy with the crate training. Now, as far as potty training, he's done overall really well. Yeah. Um, and when we have had some failures, and unfortunately, this weekend's been a bad weekend for us. Uh, and I'm going to say it's uh, us. Yeah. Um, he, as far as we know, he's never actually um, went pee inside. Uh, at least not since he was little, right. just a, you know, a little pup and had accents. But unfortunately, the number two has been an issue this weekend. And I always kind of blame us on that because we know that he has to go every time he eats or a few hours or playing, or play or playing. Mm -hmm. and we just been this weekend it was our first week back to work so this weekend we're not really on our a game not I guess. on our a game yet and we should have been taking him out and so he'll have an accident but the nice thing is it's been good and solid it's easy to clean up but you know we just want to get out of that habit we don't want him to think it's okay to go, go inside, inside. Yep. Um, and I think a couple times he's tried to tell us and we just thought he was being playful with us so but yep. overall I would say potty training is going far superior than mm -hmm. with our first dog Maddie mm -hmm. or Delaney yep um, so that's a good thing now as far as his diet let's talk about his diet yeah. we've kind of switched um, this is our Truman is our third, third. four paw child <laughs> and with the first yeah. one we didn't really know what we were doing and the second one we tried to get better mm -hmm. um, but with Truman I feel like we maybe are a little more educated 
So when it came to the diet, I did a lot of research the, the few days leading up before we got him. Got him. Mm -hmm. And there's websites out there where product testing is done and, and how many recalls. And so the food that we ended up settling on this time is from a family owned business up in Wisconsin. And we're using the From Family mm -hmm. um, food line. And I actually just ordered it directly from the From website. Right. Now you can find it in pet stores. For instance, when we were out on the West Coast this summer, Mud Bay. Yeah, we found it there. Yeah, Mud Bay actually carries it. But um, we're starting him at least for probably the first six months on the um, what they call the gold. It's in this pink bag, and the gold line's kind of the in between. Um, there's three different lines, and he's on a puppy. And what we really like about this is number one, they they uh, list all the ingredients as any dog food does. But when you read the list, I love that it starts off right away with the, the actual meats and vegetables and fruits. And then the other thing is, and I'll just get a little bit closer, we love the size of the kibble. Um, it was It's so nice and small for, for an actual puppy. Right. Um, and then what'll happen is maybe between six and 12 months, we'll actually change from the puppy formula and then I think we're actually going to take him to the next higher one, which will be the grain-free, 100% grain-free. Right. Um, and we've actually already tried it, and he loves yep. it. What happened was we, we took what we thought would be enough food for the trip out west. Well, he started eating more as the trip went, Yeah, and we ran out. We ran out yeah. the last week, and so we stopped at Mud Bay. They didn't actually carry the, the, puppy, the, the puppy pink in, in store. So they were so kind, and I would give a shout out to Mud Bay. I wish we had Mud Bays yeah, around here. They were nice. But they actually went on their computers, they looked at the content of this particular one mm -hmm. and compared it to the ones they uh, carry in the store. And so even though it was an adult formula, it was real close, and um, he ended up liking it. Now we just used it to get us home, and now we got him back on his puppy. So, right. but yeah, we're really high on Froms. I love the fact that they, before any bags get shipped, according to their website, not only did they test it themselves, but they send it out to a third party to be tested. And it's only after that test comes back do they ship. Um, the other thing is, if you go to their website and you watch their little videos, they order the same food that your local grocery stores are ordering, and they show the trucks yep. backing in with vegetables, just crates of fresh and vegetables meat, and fruits and meats. Fish. Yeah. yeah. Poultry. And so it makes us feel good to know we're giving. And honestly, price-wise, yes, it's much more expensive than the cheaper dog foods, but in comparison to the other dog foods that are out there, um, it's very similar in price, and we just feel for his long-term health, it's important we give him a good product. Well, he just has such a beautiful coat. Yeah. Um, he did when we first got him that we just want to keep it, him as healthy as we can. Honestly, if your dog's coat is not soft and shiny, shiny. and you're feeding a cheaper dog food, I highly you recommend go buy a bag of good dog food, like whether a, it's uh, Blue Buffalo, Merrick, or, Merrick, or, or I highly Science recommend Froms. Diet, yeah. yeah. Try that for a bag, and I bet you'll see, because that's one of the things we saw. Originally, we started Maddie on a cheaper, and, right. and then we, we didn't like the way her coat was, and our vet recommended going to a better one. And it and was it, it, within weeks, it was, yeah. Yep. You're so. getting warm, Bobby? You getting warm? Okay. Well, let's, let's um, talk about his, his other treats. treats. Yeah, so treat-wise, we started out with these blue buffalo bites. The trainer treats? And they're tiny for puppies, and he loves them. And they come in like chicken and beef and turkey, turkey. and they're soft. And they're they're, they're cute. Cause they're like in the shape of a heart. Yeah, and, and uh, he just he eats them. And um, again, and nice them and going outside. Hopefully, you can see that nice and small. Yeah, but he it, loves them. There you go, bud. And so we can give him two or three of these each time he goes out and, and we potties. Know he's not and, gonna get you know too much from that or overeat or whatever. We also like to use things that, number one, I always look for things that say made in America. Um, that's really important to us. And that could be a whole separate video as to why. But we like these. Um, Delaney always liked them. They're a, a chicken strip. Mm -hmm. They're soft. Now we obviously would not give Truman one this big. I break them into little hunks. We bake them into, yeah. So it's a tiny little hunk. So he him. likes those. Um, we also feel it's important that he be on some hard treats. Yeah, we're starting him on these um, old, old Mother Hubbard. Old Mother Hubbard. And, and tiny little milk bone type things, and he likes those too. Yeah, Sometimes and again, though, size yeah. Is, is, is size appropriate for a puppy. And recently he wants to bury them. Yeah. We're finding him trying to bury them in the couch and bury them in his blanket or whatever. Um, and then something else we found this summer that's worked really well, um, not so much as a treat as, as a 
an occupier so that Patty and I can have some time to either eat our meal or or just get some work done. But we've been buying these rib bones at our local tractor supply. You get two in a package and we've been paying $1.99. But they're just a rib bone and so he, it will keep him occupied for probably up to an hour yeah, or more. And he likes the membrane on there and he'll yeah. chew on it. And it also helps with teething. He's still um, getting his adult teeth and uh, he just bud. loves chewing on those. Um, he doesn't get to where they break off. Nope. If we see it at all start to break, I it's out of there. I can take it away because I don't want him to chew. And we don't let him just run around with them. No. We use them for an hour and then or, or whatever. I'll put it up and save it for the next day and let him have it later. Yep. So. Now uh, let's talk about his toys. toys. And obviously we have to start with <laughs> Humphrey. Humphrey. This is the toy <laughs> that the breeder sent with Truman to us. It has the scent of the litter on it. And, his mama. and so obviously this is his favorite yeah. and um, so Humphrey will probably always be with him we um, we always make sure we put it in his little crate yeah. before we leave so Humphrey keeps him comfort right and um, he loves Humphrey but then we have so many oh toys and thank you to all of our subscribers because so honestly many. Patty and I haven't had to buy toys since about that first week <laughs> so um, many toys he loves them all speakers you know, chewers one of our friends at the lake this is she's bought him a ton of toys that he loves but you probably he, heard that one in you've heard episode. that one before in back episodes <laughs> It's like a koala. Pass. Koala, I Anything believe. To chew on. I believe Miss Ann sent him yeah. this koala, <laughs> and uh, he likes that one. And then Miss Stacy gave him this one down in Tennessee. It's a Kong <laughs> toy, but what he really likes, because he is a puppy, he loves things to chew on, and so. All of these are good toys, and then we had picked this one up at an Ollie's outlet. It was a from the Miranda Lambert series. Yeah, he and I remember that. when I came home, Patty's like, "The thing is way too big." <laughs> it's bigger than Truman. But he loves this thing. He'll yeah. chew on it. He'll I'll thrash play with it. it. Yeah. Um, so, but the main thing is we try to find toys that um, again are going to be durable. Now we found that when we were taking him in town, like in Seattle, or when we were in Sisters. Sister he would want to chew on his leash and we decided a toy on his leash might be a good idea. Yeah, so I found this little flip-flop in Sisters, Oregon at this cute little store and it wasn't even a pet store, it had all kinds of stuff and it was, we have a carabiner and I just attach it to his leash and then when I'm out and about with him um, I can have something for him to play with Yeah. because uh, he wants to, if you look closer, he wants to destroy the leash. We've had to do some, some maintenance yeah. on the leash. So, so speaking of leashes, right now we're operating really off of two. We have um, a basic just collar collar um, this is a this is this is my favorite because it's the Purdue one that grandpa and Marilyn got for him yeah and and we just have a real cheap Walmart leash that on it on. that yeah. he can chew on and if he, if he ruins it we'll replace it exactly um, we primarily use this for instance here at the house to, or in the trailer if we need to take him outside to take him potty yep. um, because we can put it on very quickly it has the quick warm. snap and um, yeah. so that's what we primarily use that for. If we're gonna be out and about where he's gonna walk, then we are using harness. Um, this harness. Now this one's actually by RC Pets. We found this at Mud Bay. Yeah. He's actually on his second one. Yeah, um, he had we, a smaller one. Smaller one that we paid full price yep. for, and then this Patty found clearance. this on a clearance rack, and we bought it knowing he would outgrow yep. his first one. And then we bought this, um, better kind of leash that he can yeah. chew on and real rugged except for up here on this part yeah a little bit he's done some yeah. damage had to do a little so work. we're using both of those but we prefer a harness the if pulling. we're actually going out walking so if he is pulling it's not choking him but we just feel like it's important to have that that quick thing to put on to get him outside quickly when we're only going out and then coming right back in the other thing is um, my cousin, Amber, actually had this made for him, and I'm gonna uh, hopefully be able to link the website where you can find these, but there's a lady in Florida that will make these bandanas for your pet. And, and the way they work. embroidered his name on it. Yeah, they'll actually embroider your, <laughs> your pet's name, but all they do is they slide right over. The collar. The collar, and so it, you don't have to tie it on separately to your pet, and, and it just kind of does that. And I'm going to try to get it close enough to the camera that you can see his name's embroidered there. And she found this really cool retro Very trailer. Cute. So Truman's got his own little um, bandana. bandana, thanks to, to Amber and, and Gage, Gage. Yeah. yeah, who sent that to him. Um, overall, we're not big into, you know, we love dressing our, our dogs yeah. up, but Delaney and Maddie hated clothing. Yeah, they didn't clothing. like it. Unless it served a purpose, like if we were tent camping and it was cold. She didn't mind her coat or her yep. raincoat. Yep, yeah, if it was raining, a raincoat. Yeah, she had a flannel. So, kind of coat so 
anyway, and, and the other thing is, originally, some of you might have saw the pictures of Truman with his little bow tie. That was one that I had bought at Walmart right after we got him. Unfortunately, he has long outgrown a, Wouldn't even fit a him collar up. with a bow tie. So <laughs> eventually, once he's fully grown, yeah. we're going to find him a collar that yeah. has a bow tie so he can dress up. And we were debating about getting him a... A jersey, whether it's going to be a Purdue jersey or... It's definitely going to be a Purdue jersey, but I think we're also going to get him a Cavalier, Cavalier jersey. jersey. We're not necessarily Cavalier fans, but how cool is a Cavalier in, in a, a Cavalier jersey? jersey. So, uh, <laughs> we thought that'd be fun mm -hmm. for him. So. so I'm trying to think, is there anything else? So he's he loves to play. I always say Truman has three speeds. <laughs> you want to share the three? They're either no speed. Off. Off. Slow. And that's usually in the morning when he's waking up and he's kind of that loving, loving mood. Yeah. Or turbo. Turbo. <laughs> and the thing is, he'll go turbo for maybe an hour or two. And then all of a sudden you'll find him asleep. Yep. And then he's out for a few hours. Yep, yep. But um, he, you know, one of his things now he loves to do is come out. We put his leash on with his collar, bag holder, and he loves to chase the the bag holder. Look. And look, look, he's already getting ready to go for it. And we come out in the yard, and he'll he'll do that for oh five five or ten minutes. And then he's happy. Yep. yep. Um, and then that's the other thing. As a, as a responsible pet owner, I think it's important. You know, I always say, Patty, that um, I think most places don't mind pets, but the problem is the irresponsible pet owners ruin it for the rest of us. Yeah. And so we always carry something with cleanup bags. And when we're out and about, we always clean up our well, and mess. I, sometimes if I see other, I clean it up. Yeah. And we follow the rules. If it says your pet must be on a leash at then all times, then yeah. So I guess that's the one thing I would ask other pet owners is don't ruin it for the rest of us because we love taking Truman everywhere. Yep, and people and want to see him. So. Absolutely, <laughs> and, but unfortunately when people don't clean up after their pets, when they don't keep them on a leash or they don't try to keep them under control, that's when uh, businesses finally just say enough's enough. Yeah, because a good example, when we were in Oregon, we were at Rockaway Beach, one of the cute little shops a gal came out and said, you're going to bring him in, right? And I said, well, is he welcome? Oh, sure, but there wasn't a sign. So as long as you know, they wanted right. to see him and, and, and love on him. And right along that, if you remember, there was another shop that said no pets, but when they saw us carrying him and how small he was, and like, had him, sure. they said, you know what, you can bring him in. So yep. um, luckily Truman has made us lots of new friends, and I'm sure we'll make us lots more new friends. Yep. Um, but Let's I do go. think it's important to be a responsible pet owner. So, All right, well, I think that gives everybody kind of an update on Truman. Yep. And um, so... He's going to continue to get a little bit bigger, be active, and uh, he's going to continue to travel with us. And we'll exactly. try to make sure he's always um, in our videos, yeah. even if he's not on camera. Usually you get the hearing yeah. in the background. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right, anything else, Patty, you want to I add? I think that's good. Don't you think, Truman? Anything else, Truman? No. Nope. You okay. just want to go inside your warm. I think you're getting warm. All right, everybody, that'll do it for this week's episode. So until next time, we'll see you on down the road. Good night. <laughs>